Spear storms have the potential, of course, to knock out power to hundreds of thousands of folks. Tonight, consumer investigator Steve Sprager getting answers about how Duke Energy will deal with those outages if and when they happen. Steve. This time of year, bad weather is a fact of life. And if the weather is severe enough, it can disrupt our electricity. And if the electricity is disrupted long enough, it disrupts our way of life. Now, one of the problems we have to have is how long will that power stay out? If the storms that are approaching us right now are severe enough, those disruptions could be lengthy. Replacing downed wires is an everyday thing for utility crews like this. We came upon in southeast Raleigh earlier this afternoon. And when the storms hit full force, crews like this will be deployed on a moment's notice, depending on the storm's impact. You can see pop-up storms across your service area. It's impossible to say exactly where you're going to see those most uh, the, the biggest outages on these types of pop-up storms. What the utility will do is track the outages in its operations center and deploy crews based on need. If there are situations where where we see more outages, say in Wake County or somewhere else, we can bring in the crews from just outside the region within a few hours. Duke Energy is also relying more on what it calls self-healing equipment. This technology can automatically detect power outages and quickly reroute power to other lines to get service back up faster. If the storm is really severe and impacts wide areas of the grid, we could be dealing with loss of electricity for days. If we have an extended outage, here are some things to do. Keep your freezers and refrigerators closed to keep the cold in. Only use emergency generators outdoors where they're well ventilated. Disconnect appliances and electronics to avoid damage from a surge when the electricity returns. And find alternate ways to keep refrigerated medicines cool or ways to run power-dependent medical devices. The individual neighborhood service drops and things like that, that can take some time. That's right. We have a very methodical approach to how we restore power, and we start by restoring the main lines that serve your community and then working on critical infrastructure. So things like hospitals, fire departments, police stations. Now, during an outage in your neighborhood, you might see a utility crew drive through the neighborhood and not stop to do repairs. Brooks said what they're doing is actually assessing the problems with the entire grid in your area. Then they can figure out how best to restore it on individual streets. Reporting live, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprecher. All right, Steve, thank you.